Welcome, I'm Art Radke, the publisher of The Informed Entrepreneur, and thank you for joining us for this year's 2012 Minerva Award winner interviews. Um, today we have with us Tracy Urich of Kobe & Company. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And we're, we're honored to have you. Um, we have a great group of uh, honorees this year, and, uh, and, and uh, people like you just make this award special. So we do sincerely thank you for being part of it. Well, thank you. I appreciate being nominated for it, and I think it's wonderful. Super. Now, you have a great business here. Um, I, I've been aware of it for, uh, you know, for a while, and, and maybe most fun is that last year, our first year, and this year we have clients of yours that, that is true. That, that have, have won. So that is true, and that's also wonderful. <laughs> so. <laughs> right, just not enough clients. We need all the clients to be exactly. yours, right? <laughs> that would be very nice. <laughs> but um, can you just tell us a little bit about your business? Sure. Um, we do public accounting. Mm -hmm. um, we concentrate in construction, what my partner Roger likes to call the dirty industries, where it's wholesalers and um, warehousing and really government and... Um, commercial construction generally all different types and construction is is a very industry specific type of accounting it has you know its own rules and so we've mm -hmm. sort of specialized in that and put ourselves in that niche which you know has been has done very well for us and um, we do financial statements uh, audits reviews and compilations tax returns tax planning, really a lot of business planning more than anything. Not business valuations, but planning with the owner as far as what does their financial statement need to look like because, you know, con contractors have a lot of requirements that they have to meet with their bank and most especially with the bonding companies right. and the underwriters. Um, especially after the recession. You know, they want to make sure. Recession? <laughs> no, right? There was a recession? recession. <laughs> so, you know, it's really important for them to make sure that there's enough equity and working capital in the company to support what kind of bonding program they're under. And that's where we come in. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Um, and um, and uh, I think one of the things that, that you've told me you're proud of is the fact that you're a family business. Would you like to yes, talk about that? Yes, we a bit are. Though? And um, my father started this business in 1986, okay. which has been quite a while ago. And That's then been, I know right? they had a little recession shortly after that. They also. did. Yeah. They did, which was a little scary, especially when he's just starting. But wow. you know, weathered the storm. A lot of that I think has to do with the contractors having government work in this area. I think it kind of helps keep people, even though they're not doing great, they can sustain. Right. So anyway, and then I came to work here, and my brother-in-law also came to work here. So the three of us are partners. We've got 10 employees, and, you know, I think we have a good little business going. Um, it's I think it's good for our clients because they can, you know, when they we start their year in work every year, they know who's going to be working on it. We don't have a lot of turnover. We deal mm -hmm. directly with them. And um, I think that really works for them. It's, it gives them a sense of comfort that if they have a problem, big or small, that they can call and talk right to me, or they know who our uh, managers are, or they can talk to them too. So, right. you know, it, we're very accessible. And, you know, I think larger firms, while they have a different business model that works well for them, this business model really works for us. It gives people a sense of comfort and that we're you know, taking care of them. We're actually involved in their business. You know, right. when I go through the tax planning, I've had people, they'll call me and they'll say, you know, I think you're more upset about this than I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am. <laughs> That's right. I know. And I, I would think um, one of the special things uh, about it would also be that uh, so many small businesses um, uh, have family members involved. Yes, they um, do. And are intergenerational. Mm -hmm. And, um, and y you don't, you don't look at that strictly from an accounting point of view, but you look at it from a business point of view of living Right, that. exactly. Yeah. And it does help because it, it helps us to ask them difficult questions that we 
know about probably because we're partially experiencing them ourselves. Right, you probably needed to ask them of yourselves. Right, first. exactly. Yeah. And how do you, what's your business continuation plan look like? You know, all of those kinds of things I think are areas that we can help people, especially, you know, like you said, when they are in the family business, which a lot of them are, or they're in a business where they are the sole owner or maybe right. them and one other partner. Right. And, um, you know, I, I uh, remember reading uh, the uh, Michael Gilbert, the author of the E-Myth, mm -hmm. wrote a, uh, a, a E-Myth uh, for contractors. Oh. And w one of the first things in, the, um, in that book was that all private businesses are family businesses, even if no other family members involved, because it's so wrapped up. Right. I mean, you can't, you know, even... I mean, you're all in each other's business all the time. That's right. And especially during tax season, oh. I mean, because we're here so much and we eat together so much. I mean, we could, I could order lunch for every person in this office without even asking them right. <laughs> because we're like so in each other's business all the time that right. sometimes it's good, sometimes not so good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. We uh, look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Oh, thanks. I look forward to being yeah. there. Great. And thank you for joining us uh, for the uh, Minerva Award uh, interviews. Um, while here, check out the other interviews. They're all great. Thank you.